So guys, the show is over. Let's make a little sum up. Let's ask some artists about their paintings. Uh, let's see what they say. This is our artist. He's very shy, but we'll try to get him to talk. I'm very shy, I'm very shy. Yes. I'm not drunk, I'm very shy. Yes, same here, same here, my man. Okay, Marcus, uh, can you... Who's this interview, by the way? <laughs> no one is. Okay, um, can you introduce yourself? My name is Marcus Totze, and I'm a shy artist. That's perfect. And uh, this is one of your works, right? Yeah. Um, let's say I'm just a passerby. I accidentally stumbled upon your piece. What can you tell me about this, like in a couple of sentences? I wouldn't be able to tell you a lot otherwise, like just about the influences, how this like came about. I I always wor work the way I think, basically. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot about philosophy and life and how <laughs> fucked up and tragic life sometimes is. So I see always uh, forms in life and how it changes and like I see this phase as a kind of mo metabolism. So it's always in the changing, something dies, something uh, gets born and whatever. Yeah. Whether I want it or not, there's always some kind of humor coming up in mm -hmm. my work. So even though like I have like very deep and like strong, dark subjects, there's always some irony in it. Yeah. Maybe this one not so much, but... Okay, I think if we had to sum up, we would have like three keywords. Uh, fucked up, tragic, and ironic, I guess. Yeah and, like, yeah, and very intuitive, I would say. Because like, I only knew that I'm gonna uh, paint a head, nothing else. Like, I didn't do a sketch before. Otherwise, it would be very uh, boring to me. If I know exactly how it's gonna look, then like, what's the point of it? I, I can never like, you know, draw everything exactly out and then that's it, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I really like your work. But let, let's talk about the uh, thing. Let's talk about uh, how did you like, like the whole vernissage? Was it cool? Uh, yeah, I really liked it. First, I was very skeptic because uh, the room didn't really, like, I didn't feel much coolness or n mm -hmm. niceness from the room and mm -hmm. like they made it like really crappy in the, in the best way. Yeah, trashiness. So I liked the trashiness, I liked the spontaneousness and mm -hmm. uh, it really filled it up with life. I, I like it, it's cool. Cool. Um, do you have like maybe any, any last thing you want to say to our viewers? Uh, I don't really have anything to say. I'm shy. I already told that. <laughs> okay, thanks, mate. Thank that was great. Thank you. Hello, um, I'm Teresa. Um, these two pictures are two out of four pictures I'm showing here at this exhibition. Um, what do you want to know about? Um, <laughs> just maybe, like, can you describe your art, like, just in a few sentences for people who have not, like, we don't know, let's say, about you, or don't know about your art. How can you introduce your art to us? Um, I would say um, I want my art to be a free picture for others. So I want to show my emotion and my thoughts, mm -hmm. but I want it to be clear mm -hmm. so another person can produce their thoughts and emotion on it. That's why I don't use a title for my art or um, a description or something. Yeah. So it's just there and you can think about what you want to do. with. That's cool. I really like it. Um, how, how did you like the vernissage, the whole thing? Oh, I loved it. It was my first vernissage mm. okay. and I think I'm the youngest here. I'm 18. Okay. And um, Nikita invited me and I was very excited and I'm still excited and I loved it. Okay, cool. Um, whose art in this room, let's say, did you like the most? Uh, like, uh, choose one, maybe not yours, of course. Uh, choose someone else's painting or photo and maybe to tell us about it, what, what you think about it. I would say um, the one up there, the pink one with the lady. So, I like this one. Okay, uh, sorry, can you like just stand so we can see you and hear of you? Course, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, I like the colors and 
I like the girl who made it. <laughs> ah, okay, I see what's going on. So it's like a quid pro quo. It's like, okay, you scratch my bike, I scratch yours with your friend. Okay, um, so you like the colors, you like the, the girl who made it. Yes, and I think it's quite open too. So, I mean, there's a title, but drowning yeah you can interpret a lot of things in drowning yeah. in my opinion and yeah for me the colors are the most important that's why my things are quite colorful mm -hmm. and this one's too and i like that okay cool um if you have like a few last words you want to say to the viewers maybe about your art or your friend's art or maybe about vernissage about anything go ahead um I hope I can be there to another exhibition and I would love to see all of the people who are interested in art and have open minds who are interested in colorful, interesting paintings. So after everything's done, tell us about your experience, tell us about your emotions, how was it? Um, I was actually surprised on how many people uh, were there at the opening, so pleasantly surprised, of course. Mm -hmm. And how much, how many different works or kind of works yeah. were exhibited. So um, mm -hmm. that was really nice to see all of those young artists and um, like uh, I don't know uh, the different ways of, of mm -hmm. yeah. working, the different aesthetics. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice, um, yeah. Okay, um, so like maybe comparing this exhibition to other exhibitions, uh, what's the difference? What, what would you say is different about this one? Um, I would say that so many different artists mm -hmm. um, exhibited. Variety. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there was a, a huge variety, as I say. Yeah. So I think that was the main difference because, I mean, was it 16? 16 artists? <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just to go with, mic with the shitty microphone. So. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a lot, I think, and that was interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe can you tell us a little bit about your art? Like, don't go too much. Just, just like, I'm a passerby. I just saw your art and maybe you like, just want to try to sell it to me, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, just try to sell, to sell this like real quick in like maybe a few sentences. Okay, so... No pressure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, my art is mainly uh, self-portraits lately, mm -hmm. so I try to um, portray myself in, in different situations and having to do with um, mental health and also uh, like queer themes so those are the main themes of my art mm -hmm. uh, yeah okay very topical i see yeah yeah um i mean i don't plan on doing like this now i'm gonna do a painting about mm -hmm. this and this mm -hmm. but it um it kind of works on on its own so nice. um it, it comes out in those two main <laughs> categories yeah yeah uh, that's cool that's your art okay um maybe like outside of this painting of your painting what other painting in this room did you like them or maybe a photo did you like the most um i th i really liked that i don't know if it was originally in that room but whatever yeah. i really liked that one i don't know it's it it was aesthetically very pleasing i think and I also like the face in contrast with the pastel colors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was it was one of my favorites actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what's future what do you think is the future for the art scene in Vienna for like young artists and what's what direction do you think is going? Or maybe there are no directions. What is your opinion? Um I think there are many different directions and I hope that the art scene is um developing more and more like faster than um, it's already I mean I think there is a big scene for young artists in Vienna but it would be nice to see it grow even faster uh, more and uh, yeah to see those different directions it's mm -hmm. going in because there are a lot I think
Okay, so you're hopeful for the future. Yeah. Nice. Hi, my name is Pauline. I'm a, an artist from Russia, but I live in Vienna mm -hmm. for two years mm -hmm. or three, I guess. Okay. Um, how old are you as an artist? One year, maybe. Cool. So I started one year ago with my friend mm -hmm. in summer at my house. Yeah. Um, just, um, for <laughs> just for fun. And Still just for fun, actually. <laughs> That's great. And here you are. Um, did you like the exhibition? Yes, it was better than I expected because there was uh, there were a lot of artists that I didn't even knew that they are existing. Yeah, and so colorful. It was just for me personally also interesting because. I don't really know how art stage in Vienna mm -hmm. looks looks like. Mm -hmm. I also thought that Austrian people are very conservative. Mm -hmm. are. They are actually, yeah. I, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was a nice surprise for me. Okay, cool. That's a good experience. So we have you trying to hide your works, but we, we're not going to let you. The, uh, here they are. Okay. Oh, three, yeah. Um, so can you maybe like sell us on your art? I know it's a big thing to say, but like... It's not my goal to sell, to sell my art. Mm -hmm. I just do things that I like. Of course, nice if someone wants to buy it, but it's not the goal. But I think I will need money soon, so check this out. <laughs> That's great. Okay, and maybe like a few last sentences to the camera, to our viewers. Maybe you can talk, you can tell about the exhibition or your art, or maybe how you see yourself as an artist in the future. What do you think is the future of the arts in Vienna? Something just mm -hmm. maybe like what you like to tell us. I don't really know what I, what I want to say about these three paintings because it's, it was literally just for fun and my best work for me. Uh, it's in the basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are ironic. It's not so good uh, as I thought. In Vienna, as I, as I said, uh, the people are very conservative, but they have this illusion that they are living in, they are very modern and they are living in the future. Yeah. But it's just illusion and uh, I really hope that these people, not only older people, but also young people, they will be more bolder and they will not have these um, grenzen, uh, borders, borders Borsa. in their mind. Mm -hmm. It's very important for art. Okay, um, thank you for your interview. High five. Mm -hmm. That's it. And the last question is why... Nice. Thanks for destroying my eyes. <laughs> this, this, is, this is what it came to. <laughs> I think this, that wasn't on me, that was on the... I think I'm also like an author now. You, now you should sign me in, so it's you and me. The author is dead. <laughs> I'm kind of dead right now. Stuff. Until I have a coffee, I'm I'm <laughs> okay. kind of dead. Okay, last questions. Why do you and Nikita have the same haircut? <laughs> Hello, my name is Masha. I am 19 year old. I'm from Ukraine, from Kyiv, and I'm studying Vienna Arts, and it's my first exhibition in which I participate. What can you tell us about them? Like, I don't ask you to interpret them, but maybe like something about how you made them or maybe history behind them. This one is for Angewandte Art uh, Digital Exhibition. We made a video to introduce myself because it was my first year in Angewandte. And I drew it and my friend of mine made a video. How do I do this? Okay. And what about this one? It's, this one looks very interesting. Is it, is it uh, can I ask you, is it you? Okay, let's, let, let, let's, let's put it as a mystery. Like it's up to interpretation to the viewer. Yes. Yes, it's about feminism, it's about women's uh, body. Last question. Yeah. Why do Nikita, Pauline and you have the same haircut? <laughs> 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 maybe you want to say something to our viewers, maybe about you as an artist, maybe about your future as an artist in Vienna, maybe about the future of the art in Vienna. Anything you want to tell us? In a few sentences. I want to say that I want to that people come to exhibitions, but not do photos with your pictures, mm -hmm. and but stay and think about what maybe is in these pictures. 
yeah, think about it, people. It's about etiquette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. High five. Come on. What, what do you think about the next exhibition? What, how is it going to be different from this one? Uh, the next exhibition will be completely different for this one because uh, the, the next exhibition will be uh, much bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be on the end of August and uh, we will organize it in a, in a, in a big place uh, near Marie Much Hepistov. bigger space, right? Much bigger space okay. and I'm waiting for uh, more people uh, participating and more people coming attending the exhibition yes okay cool um can you spill some beans about this can you give us some rumors about this exhibition the new one uh are there going to be new artists uh is there going to be a theme or is it all in secret right now you can't talk about this i i think that uh, there there will be some uh, artists that you have seen uh the last friday but there are there will be uh, more artists uh, you've never seen before i think and uh, we we never spoke with before, <laughs> and uh, we we we, uh, we want to um, to uh, invite a lot of uh, different artists, uh, which uh, are using different media, uh, not only uh, like uh, people who paint, but also people who make sculptures and the people who like make performances and so on. And we will uh, we want to combine these different media medias in this one exhibition. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Nikita, very serious question. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is Pauline, Masha, and you have the same haircut? Uh, because we are the team, team Total Spices. Okay, Nikita, um, any any last, I mean last, yeah, I guess any last words for our viewers? Maybe you want to talk about the art, the uh, the art scene in Vienna. Maybe do you want to tell them about your progression as an artist? Uh, just last few sentences for the camera Say something. well uh, the reason we organized this exhibition uh, exhibitions is uh, to to have our own power of organization to, to organize whatever we, we want and uh, this organizer uh, organization is uh, an artist organization like uh, this is not a curator thing and so on we by ourselves uh, make uh, this our our own exhibitions without uh, uh, curators help and so on mm -hmm. without any well, outside our, help our own power and uh, we, we yes and uh, join us join us if you are an artist if you are and uh, like a person who who is interested in art and uh, we will make something together like uh, be be other big projects you have a project in august and uh, something in um, in september like uh, in September, uh, we uh, we have in plan uh, to make something really uh, conceptual. Okay. This, this won't be like a party party exhibition. It will be like a serious conceptual work, and uh, so we will show that uh, we can uh, like act different. Mm -hmm. Differently. Differently. Yeah. Good. Um, okay, Nikita, that was great. That was amazing. I personally really enjoyed the exhibition. I think you've done the, a great work, yeah. and all the and all other artists. Um, let's just let's just shake our hands. Thank you. That was great. Join us for the next one in the end of August. Join us. <laughs> We're like communists. Tavarish. <laughs> <laughs>